Okay, this lesson is on measuring distances. We are going to talk about uh, basically how to use a ruler. Uh, you'll see that there are two different sample rulers here. If you are in the United States, you are probably using an English ruler like this one over here on the left. And if you're <laughs> pretty much anywhere else, you're probably using a metric ruler like this one over here on the right. Uh, the first thing to notice is that the markings are not the same. On an English ruler, we divide each inch, which, by the way, this is probably, well, I guess it depends on the size of your screen, but it's definitely not going to be the scale. Um, each inch on a ruler is marked into the tiniest point down into eighths. So we start by marking it into halves right here, this, this blue, big blue line here in the middle. And then each half of an inch, so from here at zero over to here at point, uh, 0 0.5, we take that section, we divide it in half, and we get quarters. So that would be this mark right here, and then the 3 quarter mark right here. And then we take each of those, and we divide them in half, and we get to the orange numbered measurements here, 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 and here. And each of those then, of course, is an eighth. So generally speaking, English rulers are divided into eighths. And then the metric ruler, of course, everything in the metric system is on uh, divided into tenths, right? Or divided into tens. So each centimeter in the metric ruler is divided into tenths. So the biggest line here is five tenths, which is one half. And then each of the other lines that are all generally pretty much the same length, each of these others is one tenth. So we start one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, and so on, all the way over to the end of the centimeter. Now for comparison, uh, if this were drawn to scale, then the English inch over here, oops, went a little too far, uh, as compared to the centimeter over here, each centimeter uh, takes about 2.54 centimeters uh, to equal one inch. So this one here is about a little less than one half of this one here lengthwise, just for comparison. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, one of these measurements in action here. Let's bring up another picture. Now here I have an XY graph. An XY graph is really just a, a set of tick marks that go up and go sideways. And we call the vertical axis or axis the Y axis and the horizontal axis the X axis. And if we want to measure something on a, a you know, a, a uh, XY graph like this, we can use the ruler to do so. And one of the important things to know is that you don't actually have to set the ruler at zero to do your measuring. You certainly can, but there's actually something called the ruler postulate that tells you that the measurements will be the same whether you start at zero and count your way up, or if you start at a specific number and subtract the difference. So if we were to take this ruler over here and we start at zero on our triangle, we can see that our measurement is just about Oh, a little more than, or a little less than uh, seven eighths here. This this mark, this orange mark up here at the top, would be seven eighths. So it's a little less than seven eighths tall. And if I were to then take our ruler and move it down, so that we end up here at the one inch mark, but don't start at exactly zero, then we can see that if we go from one whole inch and we subtract the seven eighths of length here, we still have that. There's only one eighth that's left here before zero. We can see that that still shows a distance of approximately seven eighths for the height of that triangle. So you don't have to set the ruler at zero to do your measuring. You can measure it from any point. Just find the distance between the top number and the bottom number, and then subtract their differences. So one minus one eighth would be seven eighths, and the seven eighths was approximately the length that we were looking for.